Accessing Learn HSCNI using the HSC Trust Org email login option. Hello and welcome to this Accessing Learn HSCNI tutorial. The aim of this tutorial is to show you how to access Learn HSCNI using the HSC Trust Org email login option. The HSC Trust Org email login option is the middle button on Learn HSCNI. What is Learn HSCNI? Learn HSCNI is our system for training, learning, and development activities. How do I access Learn HSCNI? I am now going to show you four different ways on how you can access the Learn HSCNI website. Option one. If you're logged on to a Southern Trust computer, the easiest way for you to access Learn HSCNI is via the icon on the desktop of your computer. Simply double click on this icon and it will take you to Learn HSCNI. Option two. If you're logged on via Southern Trust computer, you can also access Learn HSCNI by the Southern Trust SharePoint page. Scroll down to Quick Links and select Learn HSCNI. Option 3. If you're not logged on to Southern Trust computer, you can type Learn HSCNI into Google and you should be able to launch Learn HSCNI from your search. Four. Alternatively, Learn HSCNI can be accessed by the URL shown on the screen. No matter which option you choose, when selected, you should be brought to Learn HSCNI. On the Learn HSCNI page, you will see three options available. In this tutorial, we are focusing on logging in to Learn HSCNI via the HSC Trust Org email login option. This is the second slash middle button. You should sign in using this option if you access Learn HSCNI using your Southern Trust email address and password. If you use your staff number or a temporary sign in number to access Learn HSCNI, this video is not appropriate for you. And there is a separate video to help demonstrate how to log on to learn HSCNI using this option. If you go any further, there are a few important notices. If you need to access Learn HSCNI remotely, for example at home or not on a trust site, you must register for multi-factor authentication, which is also known as MFA. This is a mandatory step. Please refer to the Southern Trust MFA Setup Guide for more information. If you experience any issues with MFA, including if you've changed mobile numbers and or if MFA is no longer working, please contact the IS Service Desk. It is important your email address is listed correctly on the HRPTS portal as this affects your Learn HSCNI account. Your work email address should match your Southern Trust email address. Please see our reviewing and updating your email address on HRPTS Guide for more information. If or when you update your work email address in the HRPTS portal, please contact Learn HSCNI support and we will work to update your Learn HSCNI account. Our contact information is shown on screen. To allow us to process your query as quickly as possible, please include the following information within your email. Your full name, your staff number, your line manager's name, and a detailed description of your request or issue. Okay, let's get back to how you can log in to learn HSCNI using the second slash middle button. If you've never accessed Learn HSCNI before, 
or are accessing Learn HSCNI from a different computer than normal, you will be prompted to sign in. Please enter your Southern Trust email address and then press the Next button. If you have used Learn HSCNI before, simply click on your email address and you will be brought to your Learn HSCNI account. If you're accessing Learn HSCNI remotely, you may be asked to authenticate your account using MFA. If you experience any issues with MFA, please contact the IS Service Desk. When you've successfully logged in to Learn HSCNI, you should be able to see your name in the top centre and the top right hand corner of the screen. Useful areas within Learn HSCNI. There are some key areas within Learn HSCNI that I'd like to bring to your attention, including my learning. This is where your mandatory and partial learning curricula are held. This area also displays the detail of all the classroom training that you've attended. There's also my organisation. This is where all of the Southern Trust and regionally available training modules are located. If we go up, there's also achievements. This is where you can see your compliance status, outstanding and completed training. You can also renew training in this section. There's also help and support, and this allows you to view articles that will help with common queries with Learn HSCNI. For further guidance on Learn HSCNI, please go to My Learning and scroll until you find the Learn HSCNI User Guide for SHSCT. This guide is also available on SharePoint. Finally, I just wanted to share our contact details once more. If you have any questions or experience any issues, please contact our support team via the email address shown on screen now. To allow us to process your query as quickly as possible, please include the following information within your email. Your full name, your staff number, your line manager's name, and a detailed description of your request or issue. so much for watching this Accessing Learn HSCNI tutorial. With the help of this tutorial, you should now be able to access Learn HSCNI using the HSC Trust Org email login option, i.e. the second middle button.